Hi guys, welcome to another Total Technic video. Uh, today we're working on the Cabriolet version of the A4S4 and RS4, B6 and B7. I'm uh, going to be concentrating today on removing this um, this little storage uh, panel uh, that they have on the uh, the top of the uh, centre console here for the Cabriolet model. Uh, it's actually quite easy to get out. Uh, there's two ways of doing it. I'm going to sh I'll, I'll explain both to you and I'll show you the uh, the easier way of the two. Uh, but once you know where the fixings are, it's like an anything in life, once you know how to get it out, it's dead easy. When you look at it, it can be a little bit tricky to kind of work out what's holding it in. So uh, we'll take a look at it and then we'll pop it out. So let's uh, let's take a little look at what's actually holding this, this in place. And now there's actually two uh, plastic um, tabs uh, that are on the top edge of the, uh, not of the, uh, the actual fascia, but the actual um, unit itself. And uh, I don't know whether you can see it on the camera, they're kind of up, up in the uh, corner there, just on the end of my finger. There's one of those on, on either side. So these are the two plastic tabs that we need to focus on to actually get this removed. Uh, so I'll, I'll uh, give you a quick overview of both methods and I'll show you the easier of the two. So we know where the uh, the two little plastic tabs are, so uh, we know uh, theoretically how to get this unit out. Now what Audi recommend is they actually use, um, this is in the official Audi workshop manual, uh, you'll use uh, something like an, a proper trim tool and you'll slide it in, in the top just above where the uh, plastic tab is and then do the same with a, a second one on the opposite side there, just to push those two tabs down to allow you to slide the unit out. Uh, I think that's kind of a slightly messy way of doing it. Uh, another way that I found of doing it is instead of a, a, attacking it from the, from the outside, it's actually a, a, to attack it from underneath. So you've got your little tab in there. What I'm going to do very, very gently, I'm just going to push the corner of this just under that tab, like so, on that corner. Don't press it in too hard, because obviously you don't want to uh, snap these tabs. It doesn't need much. There you go. Pop those two out. And that's the, uh, that is the unit removed. That's how simple it is. I'll show you what I did there, uh, just so you can kind of get a, a better angle of it. So you can see in there, at the end of the uh, trim tool there, is these two tabs. And the, they actually click in uh, to the uh, kind of the underside of the dash there to stop it moving forward. So like I said, what I would recommend that you do is you jam a, a tool in here and then work it in this manner uh, to take the pressure off here. But the easier way of doing it is just to come up underneath uh, hopefully you can just about see that on the camera. Get it in this manner, like so, just to take enough um, pressure off of that, and then do the same on the, the other side at the same time, and then you can just pull the whole thing there forward. It's much, much easier uh, that way. Like I say, once, you, uh, once you've worked out where they are, you know you can get that out in 30 seconds. Uh, it's nothing, it's just knowing where the, uh, the fixings are. So there you go, that's your, uh, that's your storage compartment removed. 